So I'm really excited tonight because we're going to be making something really, really delicious, something that's going to elevate the taste and the flavor of everything you eat, all right? Tonight, we're going to be making Mark's Natural Homemade Chickpea Hummus. This is going to be a great addition that you're going to be having in your kitchen where you and your family is going to enjoy without fear of calories. More importantly, without fear of anything that is like artificial coloring, flavoring, preservatives, and even sugar. Let me go into this incredible recipe of this beautiful hummus that is made of chickpeas, right? It's unlike any chickpeas that, any hummus that you have out there, right? And more importantly is that it has five steps. Everything here is natural. What are the first set of ingredients that are really important? This is to set, okay, the tahini. So in order to make your tahini, all right, it requires a few things, okay? So what is required here? You require sesame seeds, okay? You require basically oil. And of course, this beautiful thing called nutritional yeast and Himalayan salt. Right, these are the four ingredients, okay? Step one, you need your, what? A bowl of sesame seeds. Now, so the sesame seeds, you can basically do two things. Either one, you can toast it, right? Or roast it. The other option is basically I pan fry it. Okay, so in, in order to save all the hassle instead of putting in an oven, right, and setting the temperature and all that, basically what you need is step one is to take your pan, okay, and lightly stir fry your seeds until it is brown. Okay, no oil, nothing. All right, this will bring out the oil in your sesame seeds. And I tell you, when you make this into tahini, it is delicious. The smell is at another level where you just use, you know, not toasted or not fried sesame seeds. The taste of the tahini won't be that beautiful, all right? So really important first thing is that just give it a quick toss. It takes me less than three minutes to do that, right? That is step one, okay? Step two, what you need to do is get yourself a food processor, put in your pan fried sesame seeds, okay? your extra virgin olive oil, your two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and about a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt into your food processor, and you literally just blend it. Now, when you do that, this is what you're gonna get, all right? So you're gonna get this amount, more than that, technically, of what? Tahini sauce. This is how you make your tahini. So that is how easy it is to make your natural homemade tahini sauce. Okay, so that is step two. Now you might be thinking, Mark, what can I do with this hummus? You can use it as a sauce for your wrap. So if you're buying those, those wraps and you're, 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 you're making your own kebab at home, this is a very healthy, low calorie, you know, sauce. Um, it can also be put in your sandwiches. You can bake your potatoes, your, your carrots, you know, celeries. You can just dip it and eat it just like that, right? Here you go, everyone. Your very own homemade, what? Chickpea hummus that is healthy, rich in protein, delicious, free of MSG, preservatives, artificial colorings, artificial flavors, and this is the healthiest sauce you can ever eat without having fear of it is unhealthy. Um, how do you store this, right? So write this down right now, right? Um, all you got to do is make sure you put it in a glass jug or a glass bottle. Refrigerate it now. Immediately after you have done your sauce, refrigerate it. Okay, don't leave it outside on the room temperature or anywhere that has a direct sunlight. Put it in a refrigerator. How long can this sauce be kept? Right, it can be kept for about a week only. Now, why one week? Because everything that I've used here are natural. I repeat, natural. And whenever, if you are opening up for a few times a week, because some of us may not be able to finish this small little jug, make sure you are using a dry spoon. 
because the moment when your spoon has water and it drips into it, it will turn moldy very easily. All right, so you do not want that. So always use a dry spoon when you're scooping it out uh, within that one week if you're going to eat it multiple times. I'll see you guys soon. This is Mark Leon here signing out. Three, two, one, and boom. <laughs>